okay guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right over there and also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and i'll give you at least to the end of the video to give it a like if you like what you see so in today's video i'm going to be recreating a set from polygel Sherelle. i hope i'm saying their name right but i'm going to put the picture up here she does very beautiful poly gel nails go give her a follow on instagram if you don't mind but yeah i'm gonna be recreating this set because it goes well with this one as you can see it has like um leaves and stuff i was going through my nail pictures because i do have a nail folder in my phone obviously and i was like hey let me do this nail set because it goes well with this one only because the set that I had on my right hand literally didn't last for two days. I broke three of my middle nails because I was just trying to open something that I couldn't and then they broke. So it just gives me a chance to record another video. So yeah, let me not waste any more of your time and let's jump straight into doing the set. So first I'm going to be using this nude poly gel for the design. I'm going to be using nude and clear um, for this set. I'm not liking this clear this is the third video I'm using this clear and I'm just hoping at least this time maybe I will work well with it because you know what I haven't been doing my nails for so long I've, I've had a long break but luckily I do um, record my videos prior so I did have enough videos to post but maybe that's why maybe that's why I'm not doing well with these but in general I haven't been liking this clear so let's do this design I'm gonna be using this um, I don't know if I should use this nude I will actually use a pink because it looks like a pink on the picture hmm. okay looking at the picture I think I will go for pink because I mean it looks like a pink right it does so let's just go for the pink instead All right and then now you can watch me do my nails I like the fact that these are press on so ugh, you guys don't mind my crusty cuticles and all you know you know what it is you all go through that this is so easy to work with like I just wish this clear was as easy as this to work with and I think it's a brand thing but I just couldn't find the clear for this brand this is literally the best brand poly gel i mean builder gel brand i've worked with ms i love this brand Okay, so I have the pink where I want it. Not so great, but I think I can work with this right now. I'm going to use this clear. Ooh, I think it's working well. I think that day it was just so cold when I used it because it was so, so stiff. Oh, okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. So basically the tip is make sure that the room you're working in isn't freezing cold if you want to use builder gel because wow this is working super well wow okay so i'm going to use this builder gel as glue like always to glue on these leaves onto my nails and then without curing i'm just going to put these onto my nails All right, and then I'm going to cure that and then I will encapsulate with the clear. All 
right i've encapsulated these three fingers now i want to work on my thumb and my ring finger but before that let me wipe off the sticky layer off of all the nails um and then i want to file down the sticky layer or rather i want to file down the nails the thumb and the ring finger before i work on them so let's just wipe the sticky layer on all the nails All right, so I'm just gonna file these, the thumb and the ring finger, just to level it out, level it out a bit before I can put on the. What do you call these? Is it strips? I don't know. These I'm gonna put these on, and then I'm gonna encapsulate on top of this. All right, so I have filed down these nails. I might have filed it too much here. And that's the one thing about poly gel and builder gel. These are so soft to file. And I think because I've been using so much acrylic, my I'm, I've become heavy handed when it comes to my filing. So I have to go back to that. But I'm using a base gel here to apply on both my thumb and my ring finger so I can smoothing out that layer all right i've cured that for 30 seconds let me remove the tacky layer of the base coat off my nails fine and then now i can use this onto my nails just like she did and i'm just gonna cut this i don't really know how this works even but i just want to cut this with these scissors because i don't have proper scissors with me right now Ugh. last time i used this it wasn't easy and the last time i used it I use these strips I use them on press-ons and they were just still not easy to use I think it was on press-ons but they're so hard to use look at that it's stuck oh my goodness let me just fix this off camera okay I tried to fix that off camera but this like I said I remember it being so hard to work with so let me just jump straight into just having it on my nail and that's the reason why I actually want to encapsulate this because I remember oh, how do I cut this now I need three hands oh my goodness you guys uh, I remember struggling to keep the surface of the nail level so that's why I want to encapsulate it I think it's better if I just cut it in strips and then cut the excess off because at this point I I struggle to yeah I'm just struggling <laughs> Let me keep my mouth shut and concentrate. All right, I'm gonna cut off the excess and then I'm gonna do the same on this finger off camera because chow, this ain't easy. The fact that I'm even keeping this on camera right now just to show you how I did it is a lot. Right, so I got all the strips on both my nails so I'm just gonna encapsulate that so that I don't have it I don't have these strips like peeling off and stuff because I had that from a previous nail set um, where I used 
these oh my goodness i just touched this by mistake and i just couldn't save them even not even with top coats so i'm going to encapsulate this i did try and make these nails thin enough but they weren't thin but it's okay so i'm going to encapsulate these to save my strips underneath right so i have these nails encapsulated um the shape isn't so good so far but we'll work with that i'm sure the shaping the filing will help shape that up so let me remove the sticky layer and then finally file all the nails down While I was filing that off camera, literally this nail just popped off. Can you just tell? <laughs> it popped off. I'm gonna glue it back, honey. I'm not ready to lose it. I think she's, I mean, these nails, I didn't really etch them. And now maybe I see why you should etch them. But also, these are builder gel nails. So it makes sense. Maybe I should have etched them. I've been using acrylic for so long, you guys, that I forget the basic principles of builder gel or poly gel. So let's just hope none of the rest of the nails pop off because then I will have to etch them like that. And then I'm going to glue them back because I'm not in the mood to redo that. I'm really not in the mood. I've never done this before. It was all new to me. <laughs> and I'm going to give this nail a break and carry on filing the rest. Then I'll come back to this nail because wow. Wow. Once again, please excuse the lighting. You can actually see my phone here, but we're not there. I'm gonna finish off the set with a top coat. And as you can see, there's so much bubbles. Um, I've realized that when I use a uh, clear acrylic, there was much less bubbles, but with this, there's like so much bubbles. We even have bubbles there. I don't know how to remove that. I tried to wash my hands, but it seems like water isn't getting into that, so it's fine. I'll just top coat my nail sets just to finish this set up. I hope Sherelle is proud of me. <laughs> hope I didn't butcher her nail set. right here's that set oh i don't know i actually really like it i'm just gonna use cuticle oil onto my nails onto my cuticles rather and finish off that set finally like and that's a final look I actually like these nails let me know what you think about these nails please leave a pink heart and a leaf emoji in the comment section down below if you're still watching this far to let me know thank you if you're still watching thank you for the support please let me know what you think about this set in the comment section down below and don't forget to like subscribe and share honey and i'll see you in my next video bye